This is Tim bringing you words of grace today from our backyard. This was a very nice little patch of garden. And, uh, and now got some old tomatoes and old pumpkin and uh, uh, dead plants. But they were beautiful and we enjoyed them. And uh, we do it each year, a little bit of work here and have some fresh tomatoes. And the Bible t talks about that because everybody saw that. And Jesus uses these illustrations, the Bible uses these illustrations to teach a few things. One thing would be the, uh, that, that we should not live for the temporary. Uh, let me read that for you, Isaiah 40 verse 8. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God stands forever. And so he's saying, build your life on that which is permanent. Uh, all that you see around you seems impressive, seems pressing, but there's, there's this, this spiritual, uh, especially the Word of God, is that which remains, that which endures forever. Another principle would be from Matthew 6. Jesus says, the grass teaches us not to worry. Um, be anxious for nothing. And, and he's looking around at the grass and he says, uh, the, the grass is dead very quickly, but you know what? God still puts flowers in it and makes it beautiful. And so if God takes care of the grass, um, he'll take care of you. Uh, if this grass is temporary and he clothes it, of course he's going to clothe you. Uh, Jesus says, Matthew 6:30. but if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, he'll much more clothe you. Don't have a little faith. And so we learn the lesson of don't worry. Uh, live for what's permanent. And then the last one, don't be intimidated. Uh, this is from James 1, where he's talking about the wealthy of the world. And uh, we'd say those who are intimidating in their personality, and they grow big, and they push their weight around. And it's hard not to be intimidated or fearful of these people or personalities. And, and yet, you know what? In just a few years, they'll be gone. Uh, just like you, just like me. Let me read that for you, James 1.10. The rich man is to glory in his humiliation because like flower and grass, he will pass away. For the sun rises with the scorching wind, withers the grass, its flower falls off, the beauty of its appearance is destroyed. So to the, so to the rich man in the midst of his pursuits will fade away. And, and so life is temporary. Uh, don't be fearful of these folks who seem so uh, dominating. Um, just live in the fear of God, obey Him, uh, follow that which is permanent, uh, and enjoy the beauty of the grass and the plants, uh, knowing that God will take care of you as well.